Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be doing this beautiful makeup which is inspired by Megan Fox here. She's so gorgeous. And then we're gonna create it. So if ever you wanna see all of the details of this makeup look, make sure to watch all the way to the end and also make sure to subscribe to my channel for a whole lot of content every single week on beauty, lifestyle, reviews, and more. So let's get into it. All right, so we have seen Megan Fox everywhere and I was like, mm, maybe we should do a little makeup look. So um, that's what we're trying to do right now. Um, I already applied my base, as you can see, and I put my concealer in a manner where it's really lifted because when you look at her, she is so snatched. She is so lifted. She's so beautiful and gorgeous. So we're going to do like that makeup, which is her usual type of makeup look, which she does She does that on a daily basis. Uh, every picture is like that, almost. <laughs> she has like that more like smoky look and then she has that more like cat wing eye look. So we're gonna do the cat wing eye look for today. And the lip is ever changing. So that means one day she's gonna have red, one day she's gonna have nude, but she's been more like towards the nude. So we're gonna go do nude today as well. I feel like she has like thicker, very beautiful eyebrows. They're bold, like very Instagram, um, but now it's more like in a fluffy way. And then I'm just carving out the eyebrow. I just did one to show you the difference. It's kind of crazy when you look at it, but it's gonna be very, very nice. And I elongated my eyebrows very, very far because she has her eyebrows like from the, you know, there to all the way on the other side, which makes her face look so lifted. And she has an arch that is a bit bigger. So I'm obviously following my natural eyebrows. I don't want it to look too crazy. So I found the picture that I wanted to do. She posted this one in October, but her makeup is most of the time the same and she looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. It's hard to replicate when you're that gorgeous. Okay, like I'm jealous. So she has a lot of warm tones. She has not that much on her eyes. It looks absolutely beautiful. So that's what we're gonna do today. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go with the Patrick Ta little contour right here. And I'm gonna shape to have a more sculpted and lifted face. And we've got the Queen Khaleesi right here that is, um, um, following us on our makeup journey. I guess yeah, you're such a good baby girl. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh. You're so cute. You're so cute. She can't be alone. All right. Sculpted number one. Sculpted number two. So that's why I'm putting my contour on my cheekbones to really sharpen everything, even though like it doesn't look like much. <laughs> I'm like, mm-hmm. And then she has a little bit of contour on the side of the, of the nose to really sharpen everything. So if I, I'm constantly looking at the picture to make sure that I do everything right, which she doesn't have that much, I would say, contour on her forehead. It's mostly bronzer, so we're gonna stick to bronzer on the forehead and put a little bit of contour here because we need that extra sharpness. What do you think, Elise? Yeah, she agrees with me. Hi, partner in crime. Just gonna put that on the side of the nose. And I feel like there's something missing. So I might put some cream bronzer on my face just to really harmonize everything since she her face is so flawless. It looks like there's no texture. Of course it's photoshopped, okay? I'm not gonna say anything. But we still wanna have a beautiful base. So I'm gonna have some cream products because cream products are just amazing. And going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream bronzer, I'm gonna put that on top to give a more golden goddess Megan Fox beautiful look. The hairs are everywhere. I'm so sorry about that. I don't look very cute at the moment, but she has a little bit more kind of bronzer on her cheek. So that's how I'm leaving it for now. And I just need to really set everything. So it looks really stunning. But first I want to like blend under my eyes uh, because of those creases. Hello. The creases are insane. Taking my loose setting powder and setting all my face. All my face. And I'm just gonna dust out everything. And oof, that is so powdery that I'm gonna put some Fix Plus. Because if I don't, the powders are gonna look weird on my face. I tried it so many times, it's just insane. <laughs> I 
tried it so many times. Oh my God. And like there's patches somewhere. There's patches over there. It doesn't work. And I'm going to prep my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot because that's what's in front of me. So it's the easiest. I'm just going to put that all over the lid using a fluffy brush for today. Let me go and put a little bit of this shade right here, which is like a natural type of shade. It's going to really help blend out everything else. And I'm trying not to look at you guys because it's going to create creases on my eyes. There we go. We're going back to the regular color that our, the rest of the makeup has. Because <laughs> that was looking a tiny bit. Oh my god, that was looking so pink. Help come to the rescue. My eyelids looks absolutely horrible right now. Look at this color. It's so pink. But that's the other color I have. Help. Oh my god. So I'm going to go with this bronzer for the eyeshadow because that's going to be what we have. Uh, I'd rather have the same bronzer that I'm going to use on my face to really contour you know, the eyes and everything because she doesn't have a lot on her eyes. She only has, she has hooded eyes, so we don't see much. Her hooded eyes are worse than me, you know? So um, I'm just gonna put that to warm the eye look a little bit because this is really, really pink and that's the base and I didn't think it would be that pink. So I need to change it. Like, this is my mistake. Oh my god, I am so happy. I don't know why I didn't talk about it while doing my makeup, but like, I'm so happy that MGK and Megan Fox got engaged. Oh my god, I don't know if you saw the ring, but it's just, it looks so pretty. It's insane. I wish them so much love. They got together, oh my god. It was like, oh, what is, oh my god. And then everybody was talking about it. It was like the talk of like the town, everything. Um... But I'm so happy for them. Like, if they're happy, I'm happy for them. I'm taking another little fluffy brush. I'm going to go in it and then put the bronzer right under. Whew, the powder goes under under here. Because you can see that she has that color right under her eyes. And it's really opening up her eye. The thing is, I feel like the color she has under is a bit more cold tone than that. So we're going to change the color. And I'm going to go in the taupe shade that I really love here. Um, so it's not too weird. And I'm going to put it at the outer corner as well. All right. It looks good. It looks cute. Her makeup is not too complicated. To be honest, she just has a really beautiful liner, which we're going to do right now. Because I need some things on my face. Going into the MAC uh, Brush Stroke 24 Hour Eyeliner. I'm going to go on the little line. She has all the way down in the inner corner. And then she has like a cat eye that goes like this. And she brings it back. So that's what I just did. I just put it all the way in, all the way in, and I bring it back to have a more like elongated eye. And I noticed her eyeliner is a little bit more straight. So I'm going to do more straight. A little straight eyeliner. Looks cute. Okay, the other side now. Whew, I need to do the same. I have so much powder on my lashes. Ew. So Megan Fox has an eyeliner that is not that big. But we're going big or going home. So... And then I'm going to coat my lashes with some mascara. And of course, I forgot one step crucial to the eyes is that she has something in the waterline that is, you know, canceling out the redness that she has in there because she is so cute. So I'm going to go grab this. Where is it? Put this in a waterline. That's going to open up the eye. Look at the difference. My eye looks so much bigger right now. We're coming along. Oh. So before I put anything else, of course, I want to do the rest of my face. I don't want to put the lashes yet because the lashes are like the final touches. And I don't want to have like a bunch of stuff on my lashes either. We're going to add a little bit more bronzer from Patrick Ta. Taking a little fluffy, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pat that bronzer right on the side. She has like a lot of bronzer, so I'm trying to be a bronze goddess like her while looking snatched, contoured, and <laughs> all of these things. 
And then I'm taking a little white powder um, to just really snatch everything in place. Okay, I think this is good. This is nice. I put a little bit more bronzer because it's like I want in the other room and with the lights I can see my bronzer, but then in the other lighting, it's like my whole face is the same color, which is so weird. And then she doesn't, like, I don't see any blush, but if I don't put any blush, my face looks really weird. So we're just gonna put like a tiny bit so it doesn't look, like I can see different colors on her face, but like the blush is not really there. I'm still gonna add a little bit so we don't look kind of weird. And I'm just like dusting a little bit here, like from the cheeks and I'm just dusting, dusting. And there's just a teeny tiny, the teeniest, tiniest, teeniest tiniest amount of blush anyways it looks cute now of course there's only the lashes and then the lips and i want to do the lips right now so her lips is more like on the neutral side it's very cute so i'm gonna do the neutral change of plans because i took the wrong <sighs> lip liner so i'm gonna go with boldly bare instead we're gonna do the cupid's bow like megan fox So I think this looks a little bit more like what she has. And then the color is glossy. So we're gonna put a little gloss. This is the Crushed Oil Infused Gloss from Bobbi Brown. I'm just gonna mix. All right, we have it. And then we will put this on top. And put the goodness. And here we go. Ooh, this is coming together. The lip was missing, the lip was missing. And then now I'm gonna put these lashes, which these are Miami from Lily Lashes. These are so gorgeous. I'm gonna put that right now and then I'll be right back with the final look. Oh my God, it's stuck together. Oh my God, my face and my chest look not the same. Excuse me, this is my winter skin. It's so pale. Just forget about it, okay? Just don't look at it, don't don't look at it. Anyways, this is the Megan Fox makeup look. What do you guys think? Is it cute? Is it not cute? What do you guys think? Do I look like Megan Fox yet? Yes, I think so. It's just so pretty. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this little, you know, review video. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. And this is such a pretty lip color. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I feel like there's just highlighter missing. It's just because her picture is so like blurred out and everything. It doesn't look like she has any highlighter, but we got to put something on. Me and my last steps process. Now I'm going to look even more like Megan Fox with those lifted cheekbones. My fist is so matte. Nothing wants to stick on it. It's okay. We got a little bit on. We look cute, we don't look nice. And then we have this fancy. Anyways, do I look like Megan Fox? Tell me down below. <laughs> I even put my black wig for you guys because I really wanted to like do this thing. But anyways, tell me down below what you think about this little makeup look. I thought it was super fun, super nice. And I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like the video, comment down below what you liked about it and which celebrity do you want me to do next? And also make sure to subscribe to my channel for a whole lot of content every single week on beauty, lifestyle, reviews, and more. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye guys.